क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द हिंजबर्ग टेस्ट एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अमाइन एंड इन दिस टॉपिक बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्शन ऑफ अनिल विद ब्रोमीन सो व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of aniline with bromine so basically we are going to talk about bromination so suppose if we are considering aniline that is i am writing over here so this is the structure of aniline that is what i am mentioning over here and suppose if we are reacting it with bromine water so obviously at room temperature that is 3 moles of bromine obviously that would be used and so for that we'll get an electrophilic substitution and the resulting product that is what we could get is that is the bromine that could be attached on the ortho position as well as on the para position and this is how basically we could get that is 3 moles of hbr as a by product here this kind of process is basically known as bromination and this is how basically the electrophilic substitution reaction happens the reason behind that is Three moles of bromine are being used because this NH2 is a strong activating group, and that's the reason that the bromination doesn't stops to mono halogen derivative. In fact, it happens at the ortho position as well as the para position, making it to be basically tri bromo halogen derivative, and that is how basically the reaction proceeds. And this is the product that we have got, and the product is what we could call it as. Suppose if this is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, three, four. 5 and 6 so therefore the product that is what we have got is 2 comma 4 comma 6 tri bromo so this is the product that we could get but suppose if we need a mono halogen derivative so in this case we can't use this bromine molecule at room temperature and suppose if the reaction occurs then obviously we could get that is tri halogen derivative so for that suppose if we have to get a mono halogen derivative so for that we have to use different reagent and what is that reagent let me talk about that in this lecture only suppose if we have to get a mono halogen derivative so in that case we have to use different reagent and the reaction is as follows so friends we know that is if you draw the structure of aniline and we have got to know that is this nh2 group is a very strong activating group so that's the reason that we are going to convert this group into some other group so that this will not be acting like a strong activating group in fact this will acting like a less activating group and because of which we could easily prepare that is mono halogen derivative so in this case basically we are converting this nh2 into an acidal amido group so that is the reaction that happens if we use that is acidic anhydride so in this case i am using acidic anhydride that is ch3 co twice o in presence of pyridine as a solvent so during this reaction basically the product that we could get is we could get a benzene ring and this nh2 group this will be converted into that is n h c double bond o ch3 group and this is nothing but acetaldehyde group and now this molecule which has been converted from an aniline to acetaldehyde group right here as you could see so now this is nothing but this is a less activating group and from which we could easily obtain a mono halogen derivative so the product that is what we have obtained over here is name as because on the nitrogen there is a phenyl group so therefore we could name it as n phenyl acetamide so this is the product that we could get and now we can do the further part that is we can do the bromination in this case so suppose if we mention bromine molecule suppose if we are introducing bromine molecule and that also in presence of an acetic acid that is ch3cooh so in this case the product that could be obtained is basically this group will be as it is that is n h c double bond o ch3 while one of the bromine atom it will get attached over here and this is how basically an electrophilic substitution takes place and that is how basically we could get hbr as a by product but the main compound that is what we are concerned of is this compound and this is what the name of this is we could name it as 
P because para, on the para position there is a bromine group that is been attached to it. So therefore we could name it as P bromo. This is nothing but acetal anilide. So this is the group that we have got over here and now we can do the further part so that we could convert this acetamido group into NH2 group. So this is the main thing that we are concerned of. So therefore what we are going to do is we are treating this P bromo acetanilide with HCl or either with a base. So that's the reason that we could get a falling product and that is what we are going to talk about. So now this group that is we have got that is para bromo acetanilide and now this would be treated in presence of HCl or in presence of a base so therefore this group will be converted into NH2 group and this is how basically we can obtain a mono halogen derivative or we could say that is mono bromo derivative and the name of this product is I could name this as carbon number one two three four so therefore the name of this is four bromo So this is the product that we have got and this is how basically we can obtain a mono boromo derivative. So in this reaction we have used that is acetamido group. The reason behind that is this acetamido group. So let me give you a small information regarding this one. So friends we understand that is in the benzene ring there is pi electrons and there are six pi electrons and that's the reason that they take part in delocalization and because of that basically the conjugation happens. So suppose if we are introducing this acetamido group. So because of which because this nitrogen which consists of lone pair of electron obviously this will take part in this resonance and that is the reason that because of this acid amido group the activation of this NH2 group this will decrease because even this carbonyl group that will take part in the conjugation and thereby decreasing the activity of this NH2 group and that's the reason that whatever the electrophile that would be attached with this benzene it will give us a mono halogen derivative and this is what the reason that we have got a mono halogen derivative so that's it this was the reason behind that and suppose if we have to obtain a mono halogen derivative then we have to convert that NH2 group into acid amido group and then by the further bromination process we could obtain a mono halogen derivative so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eGate channel thank you so much